guys. Happy Monday. It's Robin with Robin's Stampin' Hood. I'm just going to check to see what's going on here. I can't remember if I told you guys before, but I think for you to get notifications of my videos, you have to go to my business page, Robin Stampin' Hood, and you have to hit those little three dots at the top, like right-hand side, and make sure that you've clicked on get notifications. I had someone asking me about that and I realized Facebook changes their stuff so much you just never know, you know, what the heck they're doing. So I would highly recommend if you want to be notified that you go out and do that. Um, hold on here one sec. Let me see if I can see me. And my business page has really changed like crazy. And I know some of you and myself, I can't see all my events anymore, which is weird. When I look at my events on my um, phone, it just shows I have events back from 2015 and nothing coming up. So it's Facebook is messing with us. And um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. So I have the video up. Let's see if I can get comments. Hi, Carol. Thank you for stopping by from Minnesota. Hey, Penny. Hey, Linda. Okay, good. I think we're good. Okay, so just some housekeeping right now uh, while we wait for other people to join us. So just a reminder, the starter kit is happening. The cool starter kit for uh, a really good deal. You're going to get $155 worth of any product that you want that's, you know, obviously that you can buy still for $99 plus tax and no shipping, which is huge. So if you're interested, let me know, you guys. I have a great team of gals. We meet every other month and we have lots of fun and we do swapping, and I think I showed you cards from them. Like, we got, I got this from Audrina. Just cute, cute stuff that we all do together. So, our next meeting is in December, and it's going to be a big eat fest because, you know, we'll be celebrating Christmas. So, I hope you consider this and will join my team. There's no pressure. You do whatever you want. If you just want to get the discount, get the discount. That's why I started. I started to get a discount. And when I realized, hey, I'm getting like money back. That's when they sent checks in the mail and I got a check in the mail. And I was like, what the heck's this? I had no idea. So I think that's so funny. But yeah, it's just for fun, you guys. If that's what you want to do or if you have decided you have retired and you want to do a little of your own business and save some money. You can do whatever your heart desires, but that ends end of October. So if you have questions, let me know because it's almost over and that's a really good deal. $155. Okay. So I have a few things coming up. Um, <laughs> again, I don't know if you'll see this on my events, but I do have a coffee and a card coming up on Saturday this coming Saturday at um, 9 to 10 is the live event. And I think I still have some room. I have to double check that, but I think I still have some room. But go out there and RSVP if you want to come. And then I also have, um, I'll do a, a live afterwards. It's usually about 1030 that I do that after everybody leaves the house. So you can see what we're, we actually made. And then on November Fifth, you guys you have to sign up for this now and I need reservation fees if you're gonna do it I have some spots left. I was playing with this this weekend the birthday book kit oh my gosh this is so cute now I have done done some altering because I'm a brights girl and these colors were fine but they were a little too muted for me so I'm gonna show you this is what I did with mine I kind of I added this to. And I think I might print book and maybe put it underneath. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. But this is the birthday book. So this comes pre-bound like this. And then we're going we're gonna to finish it. So my finishing was doing the cover. I'll show you what. I didn't do the back cover because I thought I wanted to show you what it was. 
So this is what it normally would look like without that. I was playing on the back first because I thought, ooh, if I don't like it, I don't want it to be on the front, right? But I don't care about the back. So it's very muted. It's pretty. It's pretty. Like, I know there's lots of lots of earthy girls out there like that like your regals. Um, so this is Petal Pink and Soft Succulent and Evergreen. So... Um, this is what it would look like if you just bought the kit and didn't come to the class. And then this is what I did to it. I actually took blends and this is Calypso Coral, I think it was. And I got my little, I'm doing my little pile up here. Yeah, it was Calypso Coral. And then, um, I'm going to show you some of the cards. So now this kit comes with, like I said, the book and then you'll, you'll finish everything and it comes with 12 cards. Um, the cards, again, they're beautiful. There are six of two designs, but I wanted to do some a little different. So uh, you might actually, if you come to my import person class, you'll actually probably make more than 12 cards because I have a few different cards. So I'll show you that. So you open it up and you'll get um, these little tags that you can put on. So this is January. This is Sage's birthday. She's going to be 20. Oh, my God. Uh, and then you got February, March. Of course, it has all. And then it has an empty pocket for if you need to stick extra cards in there or envelopes that is in the front and the back. So you can do that. So the cards that come with this kit are these cards. Beautiful. You get the the card base you get the envelopes oh look at the envelopes so the envelope matches this strip right here you get the little embellishments you get all this you even get sticky tape or tear tape and you get um glue dots and you get dimensionals so you get all that stuff and then this is a die cut with that flower in there so that's one of the cards that come in the actual kit that's what you would make and then here is, actually, I made that one wrong. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like that, but let me find the one that's actually right. I think this is the right one. So, and then this is the other kit. Look at the cute envelopes. And if we, um, we will, like I said, we'll do extra cards and I, I will give you envelopes, but they won't have the cute insides, but you'll still have envelopes. From. So these are the two cards that come in the kit. They're great. They're perfect, right? So I'll show you my boo-boo on this when I first put this together. So this this should not go over the green. As you can see, the green should go up that way. But I thought, eh, it still works, right? But I wanted to show you that's actually the way it's meant to do. So those would be the two. And we'll probably make, you get six of each of these. So we'll probably make four of these. And then we're going to do some alternatives um, because we do need to use what they've given us and then I'm adding extra stuff. So let me show you uh, the one card that I really love. So what I did is I took, and I'm stealing these ideas from other demos, you know, I'm not this smart, right? So this is the card base that you get. So that's the front and that's the back. So we're cutting that in half. And now we have two card fronts. So I'll be giving you some ever evening evergreen and creating a different card with it. We're still using some of the die cuts and the little embellishments. And then there's the inside. So this is a strip that goes longer and that was the end of the strip. So we're even using that. So we're gonna use as much as we can. Um, so actually you might end up having 14 to 16 cards. I don't know. It just depends on what you want to do. And I'll show you another card I made. I'm not 100% crazy about it. It's not my favorite. But some of you might go, oh my god, I want to do that. So it's this one. I was playing. This was my first like playing with the card. So you get cards that have... Okay, let me find a card base. If I haven't used them all, I don't think I have. So you get this card base, and I thought, oh, let's put some color on it. So that's what I did. It's okay. Like I said, it's not my absolute favorite, but I can I can live with it. So anyways, that's November, 
5th. That is um, the first Saturday of November. It's a $35 cost, and it starts at 10 o'clock. So I hope you can join me. Like I said, I have a few spots left. You do have to RSVP right away because um, I need to order the kits and have them here for you on that Saturday. So I hope you can join us. Okay, so that's it. All right. Fun, right? Okay. Hey, Jamie. Hey, daddy, dog. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this cute little, like, favor box that you could, you could use it for anything. It's just... You know, I, this is what I created originally and my team that you want to join, um, I did a retreat for them and this was one of the little boxes that they made and it's filled with candy and now you can no longer buy this punch. It's sold out and they're not renewing it because obviously Halloween's just in a few days. So I thought, well, you know what? I really like that box. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it for a Thanksgiving favor. So since that's our next, right? So this is one, this is my just playing around, messing around um, sample with the rustic pumpkin paper that's in the mini catalog. And this is with the, um, what is the name of this? Hello Harvest this is the name of this stamp set. And, and then the dies are called the rustic pumpkin dies. So that's those. So, but we're going to use a different paper. We'll still, I mean, we're going to use that paper, but a different sheet of paper. But isn't that cute? You could fill it with little mints or little chocolates, whatever your little heart desires. And you can put it in front of everybody's tables, you know, their, their place setting. Isn't that cute? Okay. So we're going to do this one, but a little different. I want to show you this fun. And I'm sure some of you have already seen this and that's okay but some of you probably haven't. So I'm going to show you this real quick too, like how to make this paper a little different. Again, stealing ideas, loving ideas, not sure I was going to like it. And then I ended up liking it. So this is the pumpkins in the rustic harvest, I think is what I just told you, right? Uh, let me look at that real quick here. <laughs> so... It is page 50 in the mini catalog. And if you need a mini catalog, let me know. Um, so this is the stamp set. But then, let's see. This is the paper. And the paper is called Rustic Harvest. So there you go. So you get all those different papers in there. Okay. And that's what this, I'll show you the back of this. So this was more of a cornucopia of different things in there. Where this is just pumpkins. Okay. So to make this, we need to cut our paper down. So this is a 12 by 12, and we're gonna cut our paper to eight and a half by six. Now, because this has a pattern on it, I need it to be um, eight and a half this way, you know, hot dog way. So I wanna make sure that I cut it the long way. So this is actually gonna be I'll make sure I do that right, right? Yeah, this is going to be at my six, six inch mark. So this needs to be six by eight and a half. We'll set that one aside and then pull this out to eight and a half. Okay. So you're going to have a piece like that. That's right, because it's going to lay this way and then we're going to do our box. So you would save this piece because we're going to cut that out for our tag so you can see there's a there's a little tag hanging off there it's actually the back side of the paper so let's get our little mini embossing and get our tailored tags now i don't know you guys i had actually cleaned my craft room and i am still missing <laughs> some dies which hmm I'm sure once I totally get this cleaned out, I will find them some weird place. So I'm going to cut out the tailored tags. This is the second biggest one. We'll do a little saving of paper here. Will it fit that way? Yeah, look it. So this is the mini 
emboss and cut machine, which is great for these little things like this. You don't have to get out your big, oops, <laughs> my mat's moving around. Oh. All right. It's because I have paper underneath of it, underneath it. There you go. Okay. So then I don't care that the pumpkin's that way because we're actually going to use the side of the die. I suppose we could have cared, but let me show you. This is the coolest thing. Again, you've probably seen it and I'm probably late to the game, but if you haven't, here you go. So this paper, it's pretty, right? It's, I mean, it's not like, oh my gosh, I have to have a million sheets of those, but you can actually color these pumpkins with your blends. So this is the dark pumpkin pumpkin pie and the light pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie. And you are going to go, what? Like, I was showing my assistant yesterday what you could do. And she at first was like, no, I'm not going to like it. And then when she saw how it turned out, she was like, oh, my God, I love it. I didn't think I'd like it. But look, you can still see... You can still see what you need to see. You just don't have the white. So that's the dark one. So let's try the light one. And I'm just hitting the white. That's all I'm hitting. I need a new marker, I think. My tip's all weird. But look at the difference. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I mean, you can add to it any way you wanted. Uh, did I do it on this one? Yeah, I did it on this one a little bit. So I was playing around because I thought, oh, that's really cool. So if you wanted to color in your pumpkins, you absolutely could. I suppose I should do one or two more just so it doesn't look so goofy when we do the when we do the box, right? And super easy. I know you think, oh, why didn't I think that? I don't know. We forget that we can stamp on our designer series paper. We forget that we can color on it. We can brayer on it. We can do lots of stuff with it. Oh my gosh. I think it's so pretty with that. And you don't even have to hit it all. Like it could be like just lighting on there. So there you go. All right. So that's that. I just thought that was really cool. How come I'm not seeing any oohs or ahs? I don't get it. All right, I'm going to build this tag really quick, though, um, so I cannot, so I don't want to lose it. So that, so that, uh, this pumpkin here, it actually embosses when you cut it out. So can you see, I cut this out, and this, you guys, I just grabbed scrap papers off my desk. Like, this is crushed curry. I don't know. Does it even go with it? I guess so. But I don't know. Can you see that? I know it's a little hard to see. But it's actually embossed, which I love that when it does that, when it cuts it out and embosses it at the same time. So let's go ahead. I did these pieces ahead so you didn't have to watch me go, what is she doing? So let's see. We'll do this real quick. So this is like a little pumpkin stem, and you know what? I'm gonna fail at putting this together because mm, I'm not a pumpkinologist, <laughs> but I'm gonna put a little, little glue right here, and we're gonna make a cute little tape. Like I said, this would be so cute. You could fill it with, um, you know, those little Hershey miniatures, and then put it in front of the tape. Or you could fill it with like Andy's candies, right? With the mints and put it now this is where I got confused with this because I was like um how should I put this so if you're out there make sure you say hey and that you're watching so I'm not just you know sitting up here talking to myself which sometimes I do okay so that's the build of it but then I thought well what how does this really go so I think I'm just gonna put it off to the side like that and just pretend that's how it goes. How's that? And if you're liking what you're seeing, please um, share with your, oops, that's way too much. Share with your, your buddies. Oops. Got lots of stuff going on. All right, we'll see. I probably just ruined that, but 
that's okay. Put a little too much on there. I'm just gonna put it off to the side like a like decorative. I think that's okay, right? Like like I said, I don't know. Okay, and then I'm gonna take pumpkin pie, the ink pumpkin pie, and this is from the Stylish Shapes, and this is you. Uh, this is from the same stamp set from the Hello Harvest, and it says you are such a blessing. And I know it looks horrible. But I cut these down because when I start to pick up the edges of it, it drives me absolutely bonkers. Because I want to just stamp once. I don't want to have to stamp five times and hope I don't pick up an edge. So I cut mine down like that. And I know it looks ugly, but who cares? Because all you really want is the stamped part, right? Okay. And now my fingers are all gluey. But that's okay. So then I'm going to go just put a little bit of glue see that pumpkin's cute like I said I those scraps were just laying on my table across from me and I was like oh I'll just try these so I think that works and then I'm just gonna lay it on the tag so it has some place to live all right I'm not gonna do the whole pumpkin because otherwise you'll get glue everywhere and I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit because I need to get I need to have access to that hole to put a ribbon there. So we'll let that dry while we work on the rest of this. So you will need your scoring tool to do this. And hot dog wise, so going the long way, you are going to score. And I'll try to remember to put these out there after we are done. But you're going to score at one and a half, or I'm sorry, a half. My club was teasing me. 0.5. You're going to score at 0.5. And you're going to score at 2. And then at 4.5 or 4.5. And, and then 6. Okay? And then you're going to turn it. And you're going to score it at 1.5 or one and a half. <laughs> they were hassling me. And I do, I tend to say it wrong, so I'm sorry. And then five inches. Okay, so that's easy peasy, lemon squirzer. And then you're gonna take your bone folder and I want you to just, and you can see the marker has come through and that is perfectly okay because we're closing this puppy up and no one will ever see the inside of it except for the candy that you put in it or whatever you're gonna put in it. So I'm just um, burnishing on all the score lines cause I wanna be able to see where they are cause we're gonna have to do some cutting. So let's just make sure. Make sure I got them all, right? Yeah, I think so. So, I actually did these two different ways, which when I was messing around again with this, I did it the wrong way. So my flap's really short here, but if you look on this one, the flap is a lot longer than the flap here. So, but I realized, oh, you can do it either way. It doesn't matter. So let's see if I can remember. So this is the, the smaller score line. So if you fold this, the smaller score line is your bottom. But let's look. Oh, and that works out perfect because our pumpkins need to be going the right way. That's, that's the only thing you have to be really careful about is if you have an image that is, has a right or wrong way, like this one didn't, it was all over, like they're all upside down and so it didn't really matter. And the same with this one, um, but this one kind of matters, right? So the smaller, this line here is the bottom. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to cut at the top all the way along the score line to the biggest flap on the end. Okay, because that's our top flap. That's our, that's what's gonna come over the top of the box. So we're just gonna cut all that right off, just like that, okay? 
And then we're going to cut off this small little rectangle on the corner. And I didn't quite, so you're doing right along the, oops, right along the score line. Oh. And then we're going to do our mitering. So you're going to miter here and you're going to miter here. Okay. And then we are going to cut up our score lines to here, here, and here. But again, we need to do some more mitering. Okay. So on the smaller pieces, you're going to miter. Okay, so this is what it will look like when it's all cut. Now, um, on my, my witchy box, I did do rounded corners, but I didn't do it on this one. And I didn't bring my corner rounder over here, so we're not going to do it on this one. But the easiest way to assemble these is this small strip. You're going to take your tear tape, if you know where your tear tape is. <laughs> it is. Ooh, how about that? And you're just going to run it along the side of it. Okay. And then... This is always the best way to assemble boxes. You know, people try to assemble them like, oh, I'm gonna put it together and then try to do it. No, let's keep it flat. So then you're gonna bring this right over to, it should just, if I, if I scored right, it should bring it right to the edge, which it does. Yay, it worked. So now your box is together. And then the ugly seam is at the back. And then this is your top flap. So then what I do is I'm going to put a strip of tear tape right along this edge. Holy moly. Okay. And then let's pull that off. gracious all right so you're gonna close that flap and then you're gonna just bring this flap right on top and then just make sure they're Oops. and then sometimes what I have to do is I'll take my bone folder and go inside and just make sure it's nice and connected because sometimes it doesn't Okay, and then all you're going to do is take your fingers and kind of pinch the sides in, and then you'll have the top of your box. And then I'm going to take, oops, this is just an old, I think this is like, oh, look, at confetti's falling out. Um, an old uh, quarter inch, I think it's a quarter inch round. You can buy them at like office supply stores. You know, we used to sell these. I don't know why we stopped, but... So you're just gonna punch through a hole for your ribbon, which I didn't cut my ribbon, so let me grab some more ribbon. I think I'm going to use the black and white because it's so pretty. So what I'm gonna do first, and I didn't bring candy up here either, otherwise I'd say throw some candy in there because we have some of those miniatures downstairs. So you're just gonna bring it through like this, but then before we close it up, we wanna bring our tag through. So I'm bringing this ribbon through like this, and I'm actually gonna close up the top of this with this. I know you're going, what? You know what? I'm going to make it easier for you. Hold on here a sec. I struggled doing it and I thought if I'm struggling, I know you guys will too. So, well, maybe not. Sometimes I can be a little klutzy. So I'm just going to take a little bit of Baker's twine, or I guess this might be linen thread, and I'm going to wrap it around here to close it. You know how you tie it off? 
for it does not want to set for me sorry guys like how did I do that so you're just gonna <laughs> you're gonna tie it with nobody watching you I'm just gonna futz with this and bring it down a little bit okay and then I'm gonna tie this off to hold it into place I know you guys are going, what? We can't see what she's doing. I know you can't, sorry. And then I'm gonna just tie a little bow and then I'm gonna tie my tag to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my tag and tie it around what I just did. And you know what? I probably made it way more complicated than it needs to be, but you guys can figure out what works best for you. So I'm going to tie this. My witch box came across so nice. And then I struggled with this one. So, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to tie another bow with my big leftovers. Sorry, I know you guys can't see this very well. I'm trying really hard to, to tie it down so you can see it. Oops, I just lost my twine. Oops, hello. Well, you get it, right? We're just struggling with the tying of my bow now. But that is what your little, I'm gonna have to reattach that too. Boy, you guys, I'm not doing very well tonight. Here, we'll do this one more time. We'll try it one more time. And because I don't have any candy in this or anything to weight it, that's why it's doing what it's doing. Because normally it would it would fill itself out. So that's why I'm struggling a little bit too. I should have put candy in here. All right, I'm leaving it. You guys get it. <laughs> there you go. I don't want to make you watch me anymore. But anyways, super easy to do if you can tow, tie a bow. Or you can do something like this. I just, maybe this is stiffer and it works a little bit better. So maybe you want to use some stiff ribbon. But anyways, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Go out and make some and post it over on Robin's Hood of Merry Makers. And don't forget to sign up for that class. And come to Coffee and a Card if you can. And thank you so much for spending a little time with me tonight. And I hope you all have a good night. And happy stamping.